Some Panama City police officers are up early this morning preparing to head down to South Florida. They'll be helping out in areas that were directly hit by Hurricane Ian. These are teens at Chloe Sparks. She is at the Panama City Police Department early this morning. She joins us live now to tell us when those officers are leaving. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning, Kelsey. So officers are getting prepared to leave in just about an hour to go help with this Hurricane Ian relief. They're going to Sanibel Island, and one of those six officers going is Joseph Hutchinson. Joseph, why is it important to you to go help out? Because I was here during the hurricane or Hurricane Michael back in 2018. Um, I was a patrol officer back then. I remember all the people that came up here to help us out, um, and of course, with all the chaos and stuff like that, that can go on with it. All the extra help that can be presented is definitely a great thing. And what all goes into preparing for a trip like this? Uh, basically, we uh, coordinate with them down there to understand what we got to bring down there to them or what we have to pack to prepare. So we you know, make sure that all our clothing and all that stuff, we have the right equipment that they need or that we got to prepare for um, and make sure that we have all our, like I said, our clothing, bedding, food, water, essentials, and things along those lines. And what do you expect to do whenever you're down there? Uh, as far as right now, our assignments are going to be either uh, assisting and patrolling the area due to the uh, influx of people that they're expecting in and uh, traffic control and crowd control. And then when do you guys expect to return? Uh, somewhere around the 16th, so, um, you know, within, within that time frame. And do you think it's any more important that it's the holiday season to give some of these officers relief? Oh, absolutely. I mean, these guys are definitely overworked. They got a lot of stuff that they have to worry about as far as their own home, um, as far as their own family goes. So this will definitely give a little bit of relief for them to either take some of that extra time to be able to go home and spend that time with their family or work on some of the projects that they have to work on to rebuild back up. All right. Well, thank you so much, Joseph. I know that they'll definitely appreciate you guys being down there to help and safe travels. Thank you. And it is pretty foggy out here. I know that Kristen will be giving us a forecast of that shortly. So hopefully these guys have a safe drive down. And Kristen, is it going to clear up anytime soon? Well, unfortunately, I wouldn't say anytime soon. We will see the fog start to dissipate in the mid to late morning hours, but it's only about 445 in the morning, so we do still have about four to possibly five hours of fog continuing across the panhandle. Dense fog advisory 